This tutorial will show you several steps to revise a ProShow Producer or ProShow Go slide style. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to make basic changes and save those changes to a new slide style to use in future projects. Open the Slide Options window and select a photo. Then select a style to apply to the photo. I want to make changes to this slide. So I'm going to Effects. This style has three layers. The third layer is the image background which I want to change. I'm going to right click on the image background and select file. Go to the directory that has the image or photo that I want to substitute and click open. Now I want to change the dimensions of the photo and make sure that they are the same from beginning to end. Copy, Motion Effects, Copy, Start to End. That looks good, but I want to make another change. I want to make this ending image a little smaller before it fades out. So I'm going to the image, and then I want to select the keyframes five and six. Now I want to select keyframe six zoom and change it to 94. This makes the photo fit a little better in the window. That looks good. Now I want to make just one more change. Between keyframes 5 and 6, I think I want this image to add to last just a little longer before it fades out. So I'm going to insert, right click, and insert an additional keyframe. Then make sure that the area between 6 and 7 keyframe is highlighted. Right click on keyframe 7, copy, then right click on keyframe 6 and paste. Now that image will stay the same just a little longer before the transition comes in. That's what I want. Once you have made all the changes you want to the slide style, click the Layers tab at the top of the menu. Then we're going to make sure that all the layers have the right style template settings. Image 1 is one that is replaceable and is checked. That's okay. Number 2, replaceable. That's okay. Image 3, we don't want to replace this one, so we're going to make sure that it's blank. Now we're ready to save this style. Go to the menu and make sure that you click on the Slide tab. Now we're going to create a style. And I'm going to name this style Vintage Music. Now you can select a category that you want to save this style in. I'm going to keep favorite and my own slide styles and apply. You can fill in this other information as appropriate and then click OK. You 
You have just created a new style based on an existing one. Thanks for watching.